a sophomore at Mission San Jose High School, and my main project is a 3D printed hand that's attached to a glove that, and it's controlled by it. This is my third milestone where I had to get the flex sensors connected to the servos and also build the hand. So here's a demo of how it works. This basically works by having the flex sensors, which are variable resistors, give their voltage to the serial monitor, which then maps that value out between 0 and 180 degrees, and the servo then turns to that angle. The fingers work by having the fishing line run through the finger, where one end straightens it and the other bends it. So when attached to opposite ends of the servo, the servo turns and one end is bent, one end is stressed and the other is relaxed, causing it to either bend or straighten. Um, one of my struggles in this part of the project was that my servos kept frying and I had no idea why that was happening. So I went online and I figured out that the servos can only handle 4.8 to 6 volts, but I was using a 9 volt battery. I then switched it over to a 6 volt battery, but it still ended up frying three of my servos. So then I ended up using a 5 volt voltage regulator, which then completely fixed the problem. Um, I learned a lot about troubleshooting voltage and servos in general in this part of the project and I would definitely recommend it for anyone who wants to try mechanical or electrical engineering. Um, and that's it for my third milestone, so thank you for watching.